Give it up, yo! Anthony Hawkins, 22 years old, in a black ski mask with one wide slit for his eyes, entered the bodega on 3rd Avenue and 128th Street and took out his piece. A 9mm Glock, the same gun he'd used during his entire spree of holdups in the New York City area. Come on, kid, you ain't gonna get rich off me! Anthony noticed the camera, aiming right at him from the corner near the door. <laughs> hey! You come out here now! The Asian lady walked toward the front of the store with her hands up. Then Anthony thought he saw the old man reach for something behind the counter. Maybe a gun. Anthony aimed the Glock at him. The register! Clean it out right now or I'll kill both of you! I swear I will! Drop the gun, Anthony. Who said that? Is there somebody else in here? No, I swear! Well, somebody's talking to me! Someone who knows my name! Leave them alone, Anthony. Put the gun down. Let the man call the cops and you won't get hurt. That's your best option right now. Actually, that's your only option. What's going on? Somebody else in here? You hiding someplace? This is the last time I'll ask you. Put the gun down, and you can go back to jail and serve the time you deserve to serve. Don't put the gun down, and you're still going back to jail, but you may spend a couple weeks in the hospital. Shut up! The old man and the Asian woman were staring at Anthony like he was crazy. What are you looking at? Then his mask suddenly came off his head as if somebody had pulled it off, but no one was there. What the- oh! Anthony felt a pain in his face, like he'd just been sucker punched. Oh! 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 And then he was tumbling back into the shelf. He had dropped his gun. <gasps> when he tried to reach for it, it slid away from his hand, all the way toward the entrance to the store, as if somebody had kicked it. But nobody was there. So it wasn't just voices anymore. Now things were moving on their own, and he was imagining getting hit in the face? Oh! But if he was just imagining things, how come it hurt so bad? And damn, why was his nose bleeding? Hey, I gave you a chance, but you wanted to do it the hard way. So you're getting the hard way. <laughs> Who said that? Oh! Anthony's head jerked to the right, as if someone had just shot his left cheek with a BB gun at close range. Hey, over here. The voice sounded like it had come from near his stomach. Anthony looked down, and something hit his chin. I mean over here. This was what you asked for. Yes or nothing. Anthony tried to get up. I'd love to stick around, but I have another date downtown. Leaving the bodega, Scott Lang, from his perspective as a half-inch tall man, saw the police cars pulling up to the curb. As the cops rushed out, Scott darted across the sidewalk, which from his tiny perspective was the size of a large plaza. Then Scott jumped off the curb, which felt like jumping from a second-story window. He landed on his feet and continued, passing between two humongous parked cars. Scott had promised Hank Pym that he wouldn't abuse the Ant-Man technology, which meant not using it for trivial reasons, like to beat the evening rush, but once in a while, when he was in a hurry, why not? When a cab approached, Scott leapt onto its front end and held on with his super strong hands and feet. Hopping from car to car as Ant-Man was the fastest way to get anywhere. He clung to the roof of the cab until it started to make a ride onto 125th Street, and then he leapt onto the windshield of another car, a white SUV. He stared right at the huge, angry face of the driver and thought a bug had just landed in front of him. Scott turned to see the tremendous blade of the windshield wiper heading right for him, just before it could reach him. He jumped up and landed on the SUV's roof. He rode on the SUV to 116th, and then... jumped on a car headed east toward FDR Drive. There was no traffic. The car took him all the way downtown to the East Village. Then, jumping along the tops of cars, trucks, and buses, Scott made his way to the Starbucks on Astor and Lafayette. Copyright Marvel.